fans of, of Iron Maiden that they really want to know if they can expect a new studio album of Iron Maiden. Is could is could happen soon? Do you do you already? Yeah, and you still record. Yeah, we got we got bungees at the. Let me take a deep breath, boys and girls, because I just had a big swig of beer, <laughs> and uh, I don't want to be rude on film, camera. Right. Okay. Um, I think I'm all right. Um, yeah. We, well, when we did uh, a matter of life and death, we actually had. I had a couple of ideas. Adrian had at least two more. Steve had two or three more songs. Bruce had a couple. Davey had a couple. So we didn't get around to these ideas because the ten songs that we had written were as we had been project presented to the band, and we went, "There's ten fantastic, absolutely drop dead, freaking amazing tunes." That's it. So I know full well that there's at least five ideas that didn't make them out of a life and death album. How good they are or how bad they are, my one obviously is fantastic. <laughs> and so you will be getting a new song from me for the next record. You might get two. Well, if you're not, that's to you and all, all right? But, um, yeah, so uh, I know that, yeah, so uh, of course we, we know we're going to do another record. That's, that's without, without a doubt. Um, uh, we've got to obviously finish this, this, this year and then we've got a bit, bit more touring next year probably on the same kind of, I'm not sure, maybe the same kind of vibe as what we're doing now. Uh, and then from 2009, maybe from the fall of 2009, not the fall, but springtime of 2009, then we're going to make, we will be between now and then making our plans of what we're going to do with 2009, whether we're going to work on 209 on the new record or just take some time off and spend time with the families or what i don't know um i have mentioned to the band and to rod better think about it quick because i don't know how long i've got <laughs> you know no I, I mean i've got to be serious you know i you know it's it's a very we we talked earlier about the the, the fitness and the regime and and being like the the, the energy of it all it, it, it isn't. Uh, it, it's it's really a young man's gig, and we ain't young band anymore, you know. And, and I'm the old, as I said, I'm the granddad. Boys and girls, I've got to make a promise, and I made a promise to Steve years ago. I said, the day I can't rock my band, I'll gracefully bow out. And and that means that if I can't, in my uh, you know, I'll know. When, and you you won't have to say Nick. You know, Trooper was a bit freaking. You know, what? A bit too slow and run to the hills was like run to the hills ah! that to get there oh you're playing a bit fast tonight well, you know so <laughs> what i'm saying is I, I would step down and i said to harry you know get someone in younger who can do it and we we there was a a, a kid he's 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 15 years old and, and uh joe lazarus he's our our fan club's uh steve laz's son and he, he he's I, I kind of inspired him since he was a kid, and I've sat, sat with him, showed him it, and he, he plays better than I do, and I'm like, I'm gutted. I'm like, I wish I hadn't shown him how to do that now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so he might end up playing with a bit, but no, the thing is, before you boys and you drummer boys and out there get all, you know, lathered up about this, I'm not going anywhere for a fair while now. But uh, we do have to think about, you know, the, how far, how many years. We'll rock till we drop. Basically, but we we you know the thing is you can't go out and, and fool yourselves, especially your fans, and we wouldn't do it to ourselves. And 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 that's to be on. I'm I'm sad. In, it's funny. It's a mixed emotions. I've had the most incredible life with this band. I had a great life before them, and it's been even better since. And it's it's it sucks getting old. And I wish that I could we could carry on and you know. But the legacy we've left, or we will have left behind, is just amazing. And it's still, we're still growing, and we're still writing the pages of the Iron Maiden history. I mean, we ain't living on our laurels. We're not living on the past of Power Slave. We're going out having fun with what, what happened to be one of the most mega shows of the 80s. But we've, we've kind of modernised it a bit. You know. <laughs> Although we're a bit more ancient and decrepit, we're still rocking harder than we did. 20 years ago. I've quite amazed with myself, actually I am. You still have thousands of fans like that are waiting for you. New fans coming all the time. You know, as I said, second, third generations. In fact, in some count, uh, countries we've been to, we've had four generations of fans turn up to the gig. 
granddad, dad, son, and grandson. Great grandson. Right? Amazing. You know, with his mum and his dad and his mum and dad and his mum and dad. Yeah. Or family. No, I know. I know. We, we got to find, we got, the thing is the merchandise and we got to make smaller t-shirts. It's great. You know, or we got a little baby diaper shirt. No, no, we should make one then, shouldn't we? Because he's listening to Maiden and... Okay, Nico, thank you very much for the time of this interview. You're an amazing human being. Thanks, sir. I really, I really, really fan of how you play drums and, and I don't know, the, the Ed Force One's kick ass. <laughs> I was watching it t today in the airport and I was like, yeah, oh, that's okay. Iron Maiden. You know what, I've got to say this, though, boys. See, okay. The Mexico shows, right, we hired another plane. <laughs> Only because we didn't want to get up at 7 in the morning to come to, is there, you know, the Monterey show from Guadalajara to Monterey. Ed Force One left at 7 in the morning. We've all thought, oh, hang on a minute. Do we want to? Do we really want to get up that early? You know, we finish the gig at about half eleven. Time we get back to the hotel. Time we've had a beer. Time we've unwinded. You're in bed at half past two, three o'clock. Easy answer that, isn't it? Let's get another jet. So the thing is, all our fans have been going to the airport because they know Ed Force One's flying. We ain't been on it. <laughs> That's a great story. But, you know, I mean, look, I'm laughing, but not because you spent all the time waiting for us. But it's ironic, isn't it? If we, ooh, there's the boys. And they're all waiting with the cameras and all the crew come off. No, that ain't him. Where's Nick? Uh, did, you, did you see him? No, that was Michael Kenny. Don't look anything like Nick, does he? Uh, Steve. Oh, no, no, no. no that's <laughs> him. Well, Bruce will be coming off any minute. It's not. There's a pilot. There's another one. It ain't Bruce. What's going on here? I mean, you got to feel deuced, don't you? I mean, hang on. Well, so that's the reason why we ain't been on a plane. So, <laughs> Nico, thank you very much. Oh, Hermanos, ya lo vieron. Un gran ser humano, una gran banda. Iron Maiden. No le cambien. Estamos aquí en Telehit. Campfire. Cheers. God bless you. I love you very much. Stay safe. Stay cool. And we will see you on somewhere on tour again. Back on tour. <laughs>